As long as it isn't light for more than 10 hours. When these 10 hours are, doesn't matter. What about extra light? I have done that as well. The last two years I haven't done it anymore. For a couple of years I thought, this is it. Don't let the days get shorter. But this is also something that doesn't really make a difference. Medical treatment? I hardly ever go to a vet. I do have all products in storage, in case something was to happen. Before the racing season, we give the pigeons a thorough cure against canker. During the season, I hardly ever cure them against it. But when the birds are not really healthy, then you have to do something, of course. The old birds haven't had a cure against canker during the season. But before the season, I gave them a thorough cure against it, for eight days. And next to that cure, you haven't given them anything? Those are the best years, when you don't have to give the birds any medicine during the season. I like nothing better than pitches that fly extremely hard. That when you release them, they'll storm into the air. When they sit on the roof, they are fighting and flying up again, etc. You can't achieve all this with using medicine. Is that a mistake lots of fanciers make? I think that people who don't perform give more medicine than great champions. While the champion is on a suspicion of doing it. That's my opinion about the matter. That's my opinion about the matter. You mentioned before that the best system is no system. Is that right? Yes, you can't keep young birds going for 10 weeks with just one system. You have to change. In Holland, a lot of fanciers train their young birds. What do you think about that? For a couple of years, I too thought it was necessary. For a couple of years, I too gave my pigeons training tosses. For a couple of years. I gave them a toss once a week on Thursdays. I know people who train their pigeons almost every day. When that should be necessary in order to perform, it would be a very bad thing for pigeon sport in general. There are a lot of fanciers who don't have the opportunity to train their birds. But I have seen fanciers who haven't even got a car and who nevertheless perform very well. Here in St. Willibrod almost no one is training their birds and yet the racing is very good here. So this is something really new? Yes, I think so. The new thing about it is that what was usual to be gets unusual. You could also say the unusual gets to be the usual. One is always searching for the unusual. Now it's this, then it's that. The unusual gets more usual. That's how you can look at it. The conclusion is nevertheless, one has to own quality pigeons and has to see everything. With the natural game, it's a completely different story, of course. Let's say, the pigeons are breeding, you have to go to work and don't have time to throw them out. So the birds keep sitting on their nests and don't go outside to exercise. If you haven't got the time yourself, then someone else must make the pigeons with nest exercise, force them to fly. This is also an advantage of the separated sexes. When the pigeons are in good condition, they exercise themselves. In Bala Nassau it had happened that I released the young birds at 9 o'clock in the morning and the first ones returned at 11 o'clock or even later, completely exhausted. Pigeons that do this, you don't have to give training tosses. This hen I'm holding now won fifth prize from the provincial race at Tom. Her brother won sixth prize in the same race. They were timed within one second. She also won first prize from Chantilly. This was the substitute race for the National Orleans race. She's ace pigeon in St. Willibrood. Look at her molting situation. In the past I darkened much longer. Now I can control the molting time in this way that she will start throwing her feathers within one week. A week ago we had the last race, Bourges. In one week's time you can't do anything with this bird anymore because of molting. When pigeons have only thrown one primary flight at this point of the year, that isn't necessary. Before, I used to have that myself, but I have changed my darkening system. You say, you can control this? Yes, I'm always studying, trying to learn something new.
But should those fanches do to get them through molting time? There are fanches who will give them extra light now. That's absolutely wrong. Then you will have pigeons that will throw two flights at a time. You have to let nature take its course. Then everything is going to be all right. Maar de beetjes zijn wel een heel zwaar seizoen gehad hoor. De ene rotvlucht naar de andere. Als het seizoen is afgelopen, hoe is het duiven Do you have a lot of work when the season is over? For me, being a pigeon fancier means to do as little work as possible and yet race as well as possible. I only need 15 minutes a day. Tim Heeren is a real workaholic. He can't just sit there and do nothing. He's busy with taking care of the pigeons the whole day. But you can achieve a lot while putting in very little time. You only must see everything. People that have little time can best race with the old birds. Young birds are another story. Iemand die heel weinig tijd heeft, kan het best goed met de duiven spelen, met oude duiven. Jongen is een ander verhaal. You have to drink her in the Sputnik? Yes, why Tim does that, I don't know. I think he does it so that the water can get out through the grills and the floor won't get wet. In summertime, when it's hot, I do not think that it's good. It's a breeding ground for the canker bacteria. When the drinking water stands in the sun and gets warm, The first races, when you haven't been separated yet, some already had nests. Look, now some have built new nests again. When you have a nest in here, it can happen that we replace the petition of the box birds by a small lattice. Then I lock up another pigeon in here for a couple of days, next to the one that's breeding. This makes them fiercer. I did this in Barla Nassau as well to make the pigeons more eager. So I brought these box birches from Barla Nassau. When a pigeon isn't completely healthy, we also lock it up in here. Motivating the pigeons, is that important? Yes, motivating is very important. Pigeons have to love being in the loft. When you race with separated sexes, the pigeons motivate themselves. I've also had a lot of bad experience with motivation tricks. At the back is the young bird's loft. I can see four compartments. I suppose two for the cocks and two for the hens. Do the cocks and hens stay in their own compartment? Yes, of course. I don't rotate the cocks and hens during the week. The cocks, for example, know exactly where the hens stay. That's where they want to go. But when you rotate them during exercise, they will enter an empty every day again. The result is that they will lose their motivation. They won't exercise anymore either. In the first two weeks, you have to make them fly. They'll have to exercise for at least an hour. You cannot lure the cocks into a loft where they expect the hens to be when it's empty. That's wrong. Not good at all. Is it also wrong to open the adjoining doors just a few hours before basketing? When the weather is really hot, I won't show them to each other. They know the game nevertheless. Then I will just basket them from their own compartments. E. coli and young birds, that's a big problem, right? Yes, but with me, it isn't really all that big, because I have made a mixture to suppress it. I moisturize the food with Fivit. That's a special kind of yogurt for humans who have problems with their digestion. There are a lot of lactobacilli in it. Those are harmless bacteria. There are 10 billion in it, but that's not important. I mix it in with the food. It doesn't matter if you mix in a little more, because there's no medicine or antibiotics in it. I'll mix it a little and then put Avisol. That contains butaphosphan, which is very good for the liver. 
It eases the liver. I only put in one spoon. You only need a little. Of a coffee lepel, maar als maar een beetje is. Doe het een dag of drie per week. I give the pigeons this mix three times a week. Then I put in sedochol, also a supporting product. That isn't an antibiotic either. It's a product with vitamins and methanol in, also very important. I pour some in. It can be a little more, it can be a little less. Hier gist een melkpoeder. Then I'll add brewer's yeast and milk powder. It isn't cheap, it costs about 10 pounds. But when it's good for the pigeons, it's worth it. I told a few friends of mine about this mixture. They have also had less problems with coli. Only some have made the mistake to leave it standing about for a couple of days before they gave it to the pigeons. But then the yogurt has dried up and is grainy. This is a supporting product which I won't ever stop using. Is this your Youngbus food? No, the normal Youngbus mixture is marked slider. But September has just begun and the pigeons will start molting soon. Then I vary the food as much as possible. This is a mixture with a lot of variety and also with peas. During the racing season of the young birds, peas are very bad of course. In my opinion, they may not be peas in a young birds mixture. How do you feed the young birds? That's simple. In the morning two-thirds the purative mixture and one-third sports mixture. In the evenings two-thirds of sports mixture and one-third the purative mixture. One way or the other won't make a difference. You don't have to look at a few percentages. When you ask 10 champions about feeding, you will get 10 different answers. At the end of this report of the expositions of Atschalakens and the practice with Jan de Raaf, you can decide for yourself what to do to improve your own game with the young birds. One thing has become very clear. The system with separated sexes is the system for being successful with young birds throughout the season. We wish you lots of success.